morning, my little coffee beans, and welcome to Madeline's Life Management. I'm currently 30 weeks pregnant, and I'm going to be updating you guys. The first thing that I wanted to talk about was I got Braxton Hicks for the first time, and they happened, Blake and I went to the zoo, because we're like, we, you know, live in Omaha, and the Omaha Zoo is one of the best in the world. Anyway, we went to the zoo, and it was so fun, but we walked around for about four hours, and I had my pregnancy belt on and I had really great shoes on, uh, but I've been getting really bad. Oh, okay, so I wear my pregnancy belt. I have really bad round ligament pain and it doesn't hurt where the round ligament is. It's, it manifests itself throughout the inside of my thighs and it feels like a really, really bad bruise. And every time I walk, it feels like someone is kicking that bruise, reminding myself like, okay, this is good for you. This is good for rain. Just push through uh, was great. <laughs> but that night, and then by the end, my feet felt like, um, like electric shocks were going through the base of my foot all the way up. It was so painful. And, uh, but I just like made a decision early on. I was like, I'm not gonna complain. I know this is gonna hurt, but we're gonna have fun. And we did, we had a blast. But that night I woke up multiple times with Braxton Hicks and I would just get up and walk around a little bit. And then when they went away, I'd like lay back down. And then an hour later I'd wake up with Braxton Hicks and I'd walk around a little bit and then I lay back down and so it was just I was like oh, okay good to know if I kind of do a little too much Braxton Hicks will follow. One of my favorite things in this stage of pregnancy is just how active Rain is and how much I can not only feel her move but see her move. One of my favorite things is just to lay down and just watch my stomach move. It just makes me so happy and um and Blake and I were just talking last night and we're like, we're so in love with her and we haven't even, we don't even know what she looks like yet, but we're both just so in love. And, um, and she loves Blake so much. Whenever he talks to her, she just gets super, super active. And it's fun because recently when we like put our hands on, like, um, whenever like myself or Blake like puts our hands on my stomach, she'll like move to where our hand is and like, kick and react to that spot and it's just the sweetest thing and you feel like you're like interacting with your child and it's just it's been so fun another one of my favorite things has been being able to set everything up and get everything ready like i have my hospital bag packed i have our diaper bag packed i have all of our clothes organized from the smallest to the biggest, because um, like you have the newborn, and then you have zero to three months, and then you have three to six, but sometimes the sizes don't really match depending on the brand. So um, we have some zero to three months that are actually smaller than some of our newborn clothes, so I'm just organizing them by size. And then um, my plan is I have a little plastic baggie right now labeled newborn in um, one of the little cubby areas. And my plan is the minute that she does not fit into something, we put it in there and it, we organize it by size again so that we're ready for either our next little girl or if someone in my family has a little girl, we can just give them hand-me-downs and stuff and they'll have it all labeled and ready to go. With third trimester, I also wanted to mention two other things. I have been getting night sweats like you wouldn't believe. I literally, when I wake up in the morning, I there will be an imprint of my body in sweat and it is absolutely disgusting and I have to wash the sheets so often. Uh, literally, Blake <laughs> thought that I wet the bed. But then I was like, honey, I was like, it is, I said, that's how would that even be possible? I was like, and look how sweaty I am. And, um, and I know that's gross, but I just thought I'd mention it because when it happened to me the first time, I quick texted my friend Hannah. I was like, are night sweats okay? Should I be worried? Should I be freaking out? And she's like, oh yeah, they're perfectly normal and they'll probably get worse during postpartum. And I was like, okay, good to know. <laughs> And then the other thing I wanted to mention is that everything has been making me cry, but not in a sad cry. I'm trying to think of the last time I sad cried. I can't remember, but 
I have been crying over like sweet, sentimental, or like moving things constantly. I sometimes like get happy tears when I touch my stomach and she'll like meet me wherever like my hand is. Blake has just been like, oh my, my sweet girl. Cause he does not know what to do with it. He's just like, what? <laughs> like, I think he just is kind of like, who is this? Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.